this video, we're going to be taking a look at our probability rules. And specifically, we're going to look at the first three in this video. And then there'll be additional videos to look at some of the other rules. So starting with probability rule number one. Rule number one says that the probability of the entire sample space taken together must equal one or a hundred percent. And if you think about the sample spaces that we looked at at the end of the last video, for example, where we had, you know, the sample space for rolling a six-sided die, oops, which was the numbers one through six, we also had this example with the head and the tail of flipping a fair coin. Okay, and all of these outcomes, these were all one and six. These were all one and two. We also had an example where we were looking at the number of heads in three flips of a fair coin. And we had zero, one, two, and three. This one had a one and eight chance. This one had a three and eight chance. Um, if we total up our two, that's also three and eight. And then three is one and eight. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we're looking at all these sample spaces, these are lists of all of the possible things that could occur in each of the statistical experiments. And if we add all of these up, one six, one six, one six, one six, one six, we get six six, which is equal to one or a hundred percent. Similarly here, one half and one half is equal to two halves, which is one. And here, one eighth and three eighths would be four eighths, three more eighths would be seven eighths, and one more eighth would be eight eighths, which is one. Okay, if we have the entire sample space truly represented, all of those probabilities have to total to exactly one. Okay, so that's rule number one. Rule number two we actually already discussed in the previous video, but we didn't formalize it. And rule number two says that for any event A, the probability of A has to be between zero and one inclusive. Again, zero was representing an event that's impossible. One represents an event that is certain. So all probabilities have to be zero at the lowest or one at the highest. You can't have probabilities of less than zero because that would imply that something is happening less than none of the time, which makes no logical sense. Similarly, you can't have probabilities above one because that would indicate that something is happening more than 100% of the time or more than all of the time, which makes no logical sense also. So all probabilities have to be between zero and one inclusive. And then our third probability rule um, first of all, it gives us a definition. A with a little superscript of C is said to be the complement of A uh, Some books instead of using A C will use A with this little prime tick mark. So you might see some books do that. Our book uses AC. So AC is the complement of A. And all of the complement of A means is that A does not occur. So instead of looking at the probability of A occurring, AC would be looking at A not occurring. And the probability of the complement of A is equal to one minus the probability of A. Now I guarantee that this is something that intuitively we all kind of understand. Uh, but this is what the rule looks like formalized. So for example, if I told you event A was that there was going to be rain today, and let's say I told you that the probability of event A was 0.7 or 70%, so there's a 70% chance of rain today, and if I asked you then what's the probability that it's not going to rain today, everybody would agree that that's 30%. Well, where does that come from? Well, if probability of rain today is 70, no rain today would be the event A complement. It's not raining today. That's equal to one minus the probability of A. So one minus 0 0.70 or 0 0.30, okay? It's something that we intuitively use all the time. 
but this is what it looks like formally. These are our first three kind of basic probability rules, mostly some almost terms and definitions of how probability works. And in the uh, next video, we'll take a look at um, some of the additional probability rules that are a little bit less intuitive.